Hi, this is Maricel Medina and this is the part two of the video uh, for artifact number four, how to um, do the form validation through JavaScript. So as a review, we are just building the JavaScript part that is going to validate the form and show errors um, if there is any um, due to users entering incorrect uh, values. So what you need um, already, similar to the previous video, you need to have access to your Bellevue College Canvas and um, description of the artifact number four. You need your JSBin or your own editor. You also need to have completed the code provided on the previous video. Make sure that you understand that code and you don't have any errors. And finally, you will need your award space or hosting site um, to upload your page. So let's start. So we um, accept the video just validating the username and password. Now, I'm going to just follow through this. I'm just going to copy and paste validate password because we're going to have the same pattern. Now, the uh, validation that I'm going to do is um, validate the first name. So if we go to our description of the assignment, we see that um, this field is required and should only accept alphabetical value and a maximum of 20 characters. So what we are going to do is follow the same pattern. We need to now, rather than using password, we need to find the first name. And we can see that is right here. And the ID is first name. So we just need to replace this fill here by using that ID, the first name. So I'm just going to go and do first name and then first name these two line of code just check for required values. So we are making sure that the user enters something. The second line of code or the third line of code is to check the maximum number of values. So in this case, we need to have something less than 20. Let's modify also the error message. So for the error message, we rather than having the first name, we need, and sorry, the password, we need to have the first name. It must be less than 20 characters and is required. So that will be 20 characters. Okay. And then we need the variables. So as I told you in the previous video, those va uh, variables are the ones that are telling us whether or not um, something is good or it's bad. So I already wrote here valid first name and I set them to false. So for every single field, we are going to have that variable that is going to hold our false value initially. If everything is fine, we're just going to change it to true. So I'm going to grab this valid first name and I need to make sure that instead of having valid user password, I have valid first name and I need to add it here at the end valid first name. So I can now check this. I'm not going to enter any value. If I click submit, now I have my third error message that the first name must be less than 20 character and is required. So now how do I check um, on whether or not I'm entering um, yes, um, alphabetical characters? So there is something called pattern matching. And if you Google, I provided a lot of links on how to do this, but if you just Google um, JavaScript validate alphanumeric values, you are going to find tons of resources. So basically what we need is a pattern. So the pattern is created through a variable. So we are going to create the uh, variable letters equal to, and the pattern is start with these values. So A, we want something between A and C, or uppercase or A and C lowercase plus any number. And we need to make sure that we add this forward slash at the end and the semicolon at the end. So the way we are going to use that is to ask whether or not the value enter on the first name doesn't match the letters. So what we are going to do here on the first name, we are going to do another or and now we are going to check on my contact 
first name, value, and we are going to use the method match letters. Now the question is whether or not they match the letters. So what we need to have is if they match, they are correct. But because we are this part of the if is asking for wrong things, we just need to say if they don't match, then it's invalid. And then we can just run this with JavaScript and still there's nothing wrong. We can run it again. And la now let me um, enter some values. So we have values for username, password, and first name. So for the username, I'm just going to enter any value, which is correct. This is a value that is correct. But what happened if on the first name, I enter dash dash? The only error that I should get is the error for the first name because dash dash is not part of my letters. So let's see if this works. So if I click submit, the first na name must be less than 20 character and is required. And we can expand this message and say only letters and numbers are accepted. So this is how we can add the validation for the first name. So let me do another one. The one that I want to do is uh, for numbers, for example, the phone number. And in this case, we should only accept numerical values and a maximum of 15 digits. So let's do the validation for uh, the phone number. So I can just copy and paste, validate first name, and we are going to do exactly the same pattern. So I'm going to say that this is validate phone number. And then second, I need to replace this first name by phone. So let me find the phone number. And I think is somewhere here at the bottom uh, here. The ID is phone. So I just need to make sure that I replace this first name by phone, 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 phone. And let me go back. And the phone number is a maximum of 15 digits. So I'm going to change the value for 15. And now we only need to accept numbers. So before I do the I replace these letters by numbers. Let me change um, the message. So the phone number, the, f the phone number must be less than 15 characters and it is required only numbers, numbers are accepted. And also make sure that you change this variable and we need to go all the way up and declare the new variable. So I'm going to call it valid phone and I'm going to copy this one and go up and declare my new variable var phone equal to false. And the last thing on my validation is to make sure that I added here as return valid phone. Now for this uh, phone number, rather than having here num letters, we're going to have a variable called numbers. And we are going to define the pattern matching for that number. So this is for letters and then var for numbers equal to the pattern, which is this one, and we want to accept any number between zero and nine in any number of times. So this is, you know, just done. You can learn more about pattern matching, but this is just, it's the template. Okay, we'll scroll down. We want to make sure that everything is correct. Valid number, we have the numbers. And now we can run this with JavaScript. Now, if I don't enter anything on my page, I should get four error messages because now I have four validations. So I just click submit and you can see phone numbers are required. I can run it again. I can use a valid uh, first name, a valid username, a valid password. And now for the phone number, if I, lent, I enter in a letter, a, it should give me just the error for the phone number because 
the ref is correct. So if I click submit, only the phone number must be less than 15 characters. So as you can see, everything is just the same. And you can actually optimize your code. You can create small functions that are receiving parameters for values, for lens, for pattern matching, or you just can simply create you know new lines of codes to validate the rest of the assignment so i'm gonna stop here this is a very good foundation for you to finish the rest of the assignment if you haven't done so